Justin DeAngelis, first off, nice mohawk. Uh, thank and, you, sir. And black eye. <laughs> Uh, what are people saying to you as you get on the plane? Uh, as you're, what are they saying? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stares. I don't know if uh, people really realize, like, man, look at this guy. He's got a mohawk. He's got a black guy. He's probably getting into trouble somewhere. <laughs> Try to stay away from this guy. All right. Uh, you know, kind of a, a mixed bag for you at the yeah. uh, the Aloha Open at McKinley High School. Um, you, you beat the Oregon State guys, both of them. And then, um, you know, Elder's a top 20 guy. And then you, you got a boil of American who's a strong guy, never loses position. You're injured wrestling the match, and, you know, but you take it to overtime. He takes you down in overtime, and then you don't get to wrestle Ness. Yeah. Was that really disappointing That for was you? Uh, really disappointing. Um, you know, we're kind of getting to the mid stage of the year where you kind of want to wrestle those, uh, you know, the top-ranked guys to see where you are and see where you need to improve on. So it was, uh, it was really disappointing not being able to wrestle uh, the guy who everyone thinks is number one in the weight class. Looking at it, you know, uh, if you've had a great season thus far. Tournament title in Brockport, you know, I talked about Northeast Duels with, uh, with Parati, that win. That was a huge win for you. Yeah. Beating the defending All-American. And uh, you're a guy who's been right there. Yeah. You know, you've been around, a, you've been in the round of 16, I believe it was, last year. And uh, what do you got to do the fifth year it's yeah. fourth and ten. What do you got to do to be the guy? Be a top eight guy, uh, be an all American, you know, be in the national finals. Yeah. We got a couple. I guess we got a couple months left. I just kind of got to really, really focusing on making sure everything that I do has got to be towards you know accomplishing that goal. They're just I don't have enough. You know, we got a lot of young guys on the team. They got a little bit of time to make some mistakes. I really don't have any time left to make mistakes. So I just I really have to make sure that everything I do is working towards you know achieving that ultimate goal right now besides Mike Brown being the old guy on the team what's that like it's crazy um in my class we had 16 16 people in my class and if you would have told me for you know four and a half years ago that I was going to be the only guy graduating I would have called you crazy so it's uh it's definitely really interesting I feel like I'm I gotta try to represent you know the class that we had and finish it up strong for everybody uh, you know, your dad wrestled in Oklahoma. Yeah. What's that like being like a legacy guy who, you, you know, your dad wrestled there. Yeah. Now you're wrestling there. You're, you're a scrappy, junkyard dog type guy. But, you know, what has it got to be for you to, what's the icing on the cake? What's the cherry on top? What do you got to do for this yeah. This to be something where you feel good about right. it at the end of this year? Uh, it's, it's really cool. Uh, my dad was a uh, national finalist here at OU. So it's kind of cool being able to come in here and uh, follow in his footsteps, wrestle here. You know, I really, really wanted to be able to have some bragging rights over my dad at some point in my college career, be able to say, hey, you know, you took second in nationals. You know, I won. I was able to do that with State. He won two titles. I won three titles. So this is my last year to try to get uh, that, that college bragging rights over him. What do you got to do to, to get the bragging rights over you? I got to just focus on the technique you know my cardio is there my heart's there I never really have to worry about that but there are some things that I definitely need to clean up on technique so just making sure I'm working with uh, Andrew Howe and uh, Coach Cody to make sure I get all that stuff figured out. The injury that took you out and, and you know you don't wrestle the, the NAS match yeah. how severe is it what would you say is it's knee ankle what it what yeah, is? It's, it's a knee thing it's kind of been bothering me for a couple months but um, off and on a little bit and it just got caught in a weird position I mean if I needed to wrestle nationals tomorrow I know I would be there and I don't think it would affect me too much I'd be able to fight through it but you know we have extra time so we're gonna see what's going on with that. Uh, Hawaii, talk about that experience. Oh, How do you was, feel about it? It was definitely a lot uh, cooler than going to Midlands or going to, uh, you know, going to Chicago. There was no snow on the ground, so that was really nice. You know, we were able to go to the beach, get a little fishing in, get some sun, and so that was really cool. Uh, you look like a guy who would bronze up, whereas Larson yeah. got a little bit red. Yeah. Would yeah. you bronze up? Yeah, uh, I got a little bit red the uh, first day, but then other than that, I was pretty good. It doesn't really take me that long to get, uh, you know, to, to get a little darker. DeAngelis, like is that an Italian? It's Italian. Yeah, okay, so. so. Blessed with that. <laughs> You're blessed with that. You get the tan on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, going back to Norman. What are you guys? How, what are you gonna assess as far as when you wrestle next? Well, is that something you and Cody will sit down and talk yeah, about? Yeah, definitely. Uh, should be. We're gonna have practice this weekend. We're gonna be uh, talking about that, seeing, going, going through all the motions and seeing how it feels. Definitely. Uh, what do you guys gotta do to win and be competitive in the Big Twelve? We just gotta get everybody to jump on board. You know, we have a we have a young team, but I think we have honestly, I really believe that we have a lot of talent. I think that we have individuals that can score a lot of points you know, in a tournament format. So I'm not really all too worried. It's just making sure all our guys are buying in to Coach Cody's system. 
All right. Most fun, best thing. What'd you do in Hawaii? It was like your top of the list. Uh, during, they had some piers set up, and they actually had really strict fishing laws, so it was kind of hard to figure out exactly where it was legal and everything. But once we got that figured out, just being able to sit down on the pier and cast some lines out was a lot of fun. Catch anything? We did catch some fish. What'd you yeah. get? We got a pretty good little needle nose fish. It was about, uh, what, what? It was about that It's big. like two foot long. Yeah, it was almost as long as the little pole Who I caught brought. it? Who Ross caught Larson it? caught that one. He with his tan? Yeah, <laughs> with, the, with the red. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, LAX, you guys got to spend a lot of time here today. No fun, but you got anything else for me? Um, no, pay attention to the end of the year. I think we're going to surprise some people. All right, Justin, thanks for the time. Thank you. Go home, heal up, right? Yes, sir.